Oh, real quick, let's just do a, I like to do this when I give talks. Um, who here is more than five girls? Okay, keep your hand up if you more than 10, more than 20, more than 50. Okay, right now there's about maybe 15 guys, over 100. Okay, over 200. <laughs> David, Alex, those are both speakers. How, oh, Chris, too. He's also a speaker. Uh, oh, and Alex, who's also a speaker. Okay, that's it. I'm going to go over how, how I'm doing that. So this is, I just... <laughs> I just created this last night. I, I had normally updated it till about here. Okay, so... Click the like button below and also press the subscribe. Make sure you click the bell button so you get updated about my new five videos a week, Sunday through Thursday. Also a sixth video of the week, which will be my YouTube live stream at 4 p.m. EST on Sundays. <laughs> I view pickup as a skill game. So I used to play professional poker. I used to be a chess champion. Um, I have like a very hyper analytical mind. I studied computer science, philosophy, cognitive science, neuroscience. I worked on nuclear missile defense for the U.S. government for five years. I'm like just like a super brain, but just genetically, like I don't take credit for it. And I also was like extremely verbally abused as a child, like I'll be straight up. And that combination kind of created the perfect storm where it's like I need external validation to fuck lots of chicks and also apply hyper analyticism to figure out game. So that's really how I got to this point. How would you guys, and just shout out answers, how would you define like a top poker player for those of you that are familiar with poker? Winning. Most amount of money per year. Okay, what about top chess player? Bobby Fischer, he goes, looks at the situation, boom, looks at the situation, boom. That's how I am now with game, it's called heuristics, psychology. Um, what about a successful basketball player? Why is LeBron James and Michael Jordan the greatest? Because of what? Points, right? Okay, all right. So, what defines a top pickup artist? Like, everyone's like, oh, you're the late count guy, you're the late count guy, it's not just about late count. I think that's one of the best objective metrics to judge someone's pickup skill for very good reason. In sales, you're tracking, you want to learn from the guys that are closing the most, right? What defines success in sales? Closing deals. What defines success in pickup? Why are we all going out? To just get reference experience? No. We're going out to get laid. So there's a caveat, which I'll go over in the next slide. It's not just about lay count, but I think that's a very important objective metric. And RSD has kind of like reversed it and perverted it, so it's not about that. It's about having a good time and all this bullshit. I still have a good time when I go out, but if you go out all year and have a good time, you're not really getting what you're, what you're going for. So the best objective metric to me is lay count. All right, so the next one, here's the caveats. You have to factor in the guy's average quality I post all mine on Instagram. If you don't follow me, uh, J Moff Pickup. I post all of them without their face. Um, your age and time of the game. Um, some of the social prime guys are at a couple hundred lay count, but they're like 22, so that's very impressive. Um, when I was 21, I was at like 17 lay count. Uh, which cities and countries? Thailand and places like that, Bangkok, it's like easy mode. Also, lay rate. Um, this is basically the amount of girls you're fucking over a period of time. How many are you doing in a month? How many are you doing in a year? I did 143 a couple years ago. I thought that would not be breakable. Um, and then this past year I did 240. And there's a bunch of key things I'm optimizing that are uh, contributing to this increase. Oh, real quick, let's just do a, I like to do this when I give talks. Um, who here has fucked more than five girls? Okay, keep your hand up if you fucked more than 10, more than 20, more than 50. Okay, right now there's about maybe 15 guys, over 100, okay, over 200. <laughs> David, Alex, those are both speakers, How, oh, Chris too, he's also a speaker, uh, oh, and Alex, who's also a speaker. Okay, that's it. I'm going to go over how, how I'm doing that. So this is, I just, <laughs> I just created this last night. It, I, I had normally updated it till about here. Okay, so it took me, uh, I lost my virginity when I was 18. 
It took me about 10 years to break my first 100. And then now in the past year, I've done 240. And I thought, I thought doing 100 in a lifetime was like impossible, because it's all relative. Like when I was at three leg count, there was a girl that was at nine and it bothered me for months. I was like, how the fuck do you fuck nine people? And then I met this dude that was at like 26 and I was like, dude, like, let me fucking learn from you all this shit. Now, like, that's like a month. That's a typical, like in Poland, I've been here in three weeks in Poland, there's been, I think, 26. I discovered game around 64, wherever that is. And then I got a, a girlfriend shortly after for like a year and a half. And then I kind of uh, developed my, I, I developed my method in 2012. I worked for RSD in 2012, I think. Go to the next one. I think I talked about that. Um, okay, so the origin of my method, there was a forum. It's kind of like the modern version of uh, Mysteries Lounge. So Mystery had a, a pickup group called Mysteries Lounge. And there was this group called Top Beasts where they basically like hunted through the community and found like the best guys with the best lay reports, with like the best proof, the best like post skills, whatever. They had a whole bunch of criteria and they picked 30 of the top guys. This is in 2012. I was added to that, and it turned out I was friends with a lot of the guys. But I went individually to each one of them. Again, I'm an analyzer, and I picked their brains. I read all their posts, every single one of them. And I met them all in person. I even traveled to meet them. And I, what I did, it was basically like a data collection. And what I did was I found all the common areas of overlap amongst all the best guys and what they're all doing. And that's how I formed my method in 2012. So I found who are the best guys, what are they all doing, and what's the common overlap? And there was like key overlap areas in certain parts of the game, and I look at it all very structurally. And that's how I formed the method. So since then, it was very solid in 2012, the, the, as I formed it from, from this analysis. But since then, I've been evolving and optimizing it. So I'm constantly doing these things. I'm constantly scanning, like, where are the weakest parts of the method all the way through? Who is better than me at, at any level, right? My latest, uh, he's not even paying attention, but my latest uh, discovery was Alex is better than me at online game. Do you want to like, if you speak loudly, like, do you want to like describe like how I introduced myself and like what happened? In like a normal calibrated way. You know? <laughs> 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 like a weird way as, you know, to do. So basically, uh, I'll, like, he was, just, he was just like, he was just like very like, he's like, he's like, yeah, dude, I want to remember shit. I want to like, I have this product, this is your product exchange, your product exchange. And like, he, he made like a good point. He's like, he's like, dude, we can learn off each other. Like, how many night game plays do you have? I don't know, like 40, 50. He's like, he's like, you can, I know night game really well. You know, and I'm not really well. Like, let's, let's exchange info. And so, yeah. That's what I was about. Yeah, but I, but I was, I was trying to also like pick your brain. Like, what are you doing? That's beating, because I'm always like trying to split test. For those of you familiar with marketing, split testing is, it's called A-B testing. You're taking one version of something testing a second version and then comparing results of the data to see which outperforms. So I'm always looking for guys that can beat me at any area, and that includes naturals. I don't fucking care if they're a pickup artist. Day game, night game, <coughs> retention, texting. Like, I, I mean to like sit down with David Swift at some point and pick his brain on texting, because I think his texting is better than mine. Dates, every little piece of game, who is better than me? And this is how I've, this is the mindset I've had the whole way through. If any guy that I met or heard about was crushing it, I would go and pay him for training, even at almost a thousand lays. And that's the mindset I've had the whole way through. Um, if you guys follow my stuff, Sonny, like he's like a, a big bodybuilder dude. He's like a model of masculinity. He's taught me a lot of stuff about that. Anybody that is, and that's how I got good at business too. I, I excelled in affiliate marketing by meeting rich guys, by going to conferences, by befriending them. Like I, I was, I, I became business partners with a 48 year old, um, guy, he's worth about $20 million. He had nice shoes at a conference. I'm like, hey man, those are really cool shoes. He's like, oh, thanks. Got talking, he was like, he's like, I'm just about to leave to go catch my flight. We got talking, we talked for like 20 minutes. We ended up partnering and, I, and he's like, you can be in charge of all this stuff. I'm making like 20 grand a day. I was like, okay. And he's like, I'll teach you because he's like, I can tell you're smart. So like in business and in pickup, you need to find the best guys. And it's very, very, very limited who are the best guys. Most of the fucking coaches in this community, I fucking hate, to be perfectly honest. And they're frauds, they're lying, they're faking results, they're faking infield. I don't know if you guys saw the Justin Wayne thing with the being exposed. There's all the coaches. I like dig deeply into every coach and I actively make videos about them, actively make posts about them. And guys are like, you're an asshole. No, 
I like really care about getting guys good at this. I get a lot of satisfaction because I was I came from a place where I was like the shyest guy out of like 700 people in my high school. I was in math league, like literally it was like a disaster. It was like in math league, playing violin, playing chess, like terrified to talk to any girl. And when I first kissed a girl when I was 18, I was trembling. And that's not made up. Like guys like Sonny, like he was like a multi-sport athlete and he was fucking tons of girls in high school. That wasn't me. So I'm coming from the place where most of you guys are coming from. And so I really care about this. And I really, it really bothers me when there's guys out there misleading you. My whole business model, and I don't even do this for a living my business anymore, I used to. But my business model is to actually fix the problem. And guys that I see, like Alex, like tireless, tirelessly like answers questions, like way more than I ever would, like spends like several hours a day answering questions in his mastermind, which is like $40 or something bullshit. And he's like constantly like helping guys on a very deep level. So that's why I support guys like that. And he knows what he's talking about. That's, an, that's another big piece of it. But most of the co coaches out there are fucking full of shit. They're ripping you off. Why does 99% of the community suck? Like, it's because you're getting fucking misled, confused, information overload. All the key things that I'm doing, like to fuck a thousand girls, I'm, I, I don't see almost any of it on the forums. I don't see almost any of it in the products. It's never talked about. Most of the stuff that's talked about doesn't lead to results.